So for the teacher, for the teacher is fine. But even though sometimes I'm a little bit bored at home, but I still try to find something, something to do, like read the book and also do some of my work in order to make me feel not bored. And I hope everyone spend the time to read the book and try to learn at home. All right, everyone. So today is Wednesday, April 28, 28, and 21, right? According to our schedule for the first session, you are going to learn about. Hang up for on Wednesday. So today we focus on uh, point C. Listen and write that answer. Listen and write that answer here. You have to listen from all your track 96 and then complete complete here. Complete the the word here. Because in this conversation there is one word that missing or two words that missing, but we have only one blank. Number two also the same. One play, number three, number four also have one play. So you have to listen from the audio track and then complete all together. After you listen from the audio track and complete already, you have to read that sentence or that statement in order to answer the question Is she right? Is he right? If he or she said correct, you have to say yes. But if she says not correct, you have to say no because all what you have to know yes or no based on your reading. If you understand about the reading, you will know that he or she is right or wrong. All right, everyone. So now she would like to play three times for you guys to complete. Are you ready? Now let's start all together. C. Listen and write. Then answer the questions. Number one. There are lots of cars in Venice. Number two. People travel by gondolas in Venice. Number three. Tuk tuks are just like taxis. Number four. People use horses to pull sleds in Norway. Great job, everyone. Have you done? I hope that you can listen well from all the track and complete the missing words. Now, the teacher would like you to to what? To submit this one to your home teacher and check with your home teacher, not with the teacher. Why? Because. I know some of you just only skip some part and then move forward to write the answer in the notebook or in the text only after that submit to your homework teacher. And today, teacher not check any answer for you. I'm going to check with your homework teacher about this part. Now let's go to part D, much images for the places that then say. So here you have to look at the picture and the word and match it. After that, teacher would like you to read the word by the way and send to your home teacher. Are you ready? Teacher would like to do you five minutes with this one. Let's start all together. Goodbye everyone, see you for the next